The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, sixteenth chapter, text number twenty-five, given by His Divine Grace, A. C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on January twenty-first, nineteen seventy-four, in Hawaii. Translation: The earthly deity in the form of a cow, thus replied to the personality of religious principles in the form of a bull. O Dharma, whatever you have inquired from me shall be known to you. I shall try to reply to all those questions. Once you too were maintained by your four legs and increased happiness all over the universe by the mercy of the Lord. Bhavan Hibida Tassardam Janmang Dharmanu Pichis So, Dharmaraj, uh, Dhammaraj, he is one of the twelve authorized persons for maintaining properly the human civilization. He principally is uh, Dharma. Dharma means not a religious sentiment. Dharma means occupation and duty. Uh, everyone has got some occupation and duty. <coughs> so, Dharma he sakshat bhagavat samitam. That occupation and duty is assigned by the Supreme Personality of God. Tena taktena bhunji tha. Actually, the dharma principle, as we learn from Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, sarva dharman paritajya mamitam saranam. Don't create, manufacture your principle of religion. Concoct. That is the difficulty. Dharma means hapsad bhagavad We have several times explained this. The dharma means, uh, dharma, as it is translated in English, religion. Religion means to obey the laws of God. That is religion. Uh, <coughs> not a, a sentimental system of religious system we manufacture. Uh, that kind of dharma will not uh, help us. Therefore, in the uh, Śrīmad-bhāgavatam, in the beginning it is said, dharma prujita koita vartra Cheating type of religious system is kicked out. That is Bhagavata. Uh, no cheating. Uh, in the name of cheating, uh, and dharma, religious principle, that will not help the human civilization. Uh, the real dharma, uh, the real dharma is stated by God Himself. dharma to sakshad bhagavat You haven't got to learn from anywhere else but from God Himself. Uh, so that is explained very nicely in the Bhagavad Gita. Sarva dharma on paritajyama. To surrender to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, that is it. Not only surrender, but to act as he desires. Or you become a lover of God. That is first class religion. We have several times explained. Samai pungsang paro dharma, jato bhakti radhukhaji. That type of religion is first class, which teaches you how to become a lover of God. If you become lover, then your life is successful. Then you will do everything for God. Otherwise you will simply question, why shall I do that, why shall I do that, why shall I do that? That means there is no love, that is training. Just like a, a novice is being trained up 
and he has no love. So he will question. Uh, why shall I do it? Why shall I do it? Why shall I do it? What benefit I shall get? Uh, so many questions. But when there is love, uh, there is no question. Uh, so, therefore, in the Bhagavad Gita, after teaching so many things, yoga, jnana, karma, and so many other things, uh, at last, Krishna says, the sarva Now I am speaking to you the most confidential uh, instruction. What is that? sarva dharma paritajya mami This is the most confidential. So, uh, generally, a human being uh, accepts four principles namely dharma, artha, kaam, moksha. Dharma, artha, kaam. Dharma means religious principle. Artha means economic principle, how to uh, develop economic principle. Dharma, kaam, uh, how to uh, satisfy our senses. And moksha, and ultimately salvation. But this is material principle. Uh, we have to surpass this material principle, then come to the spiritual platform. That is sarva-dharma and paritajya mahami Sarva-dharma, this is also dharma. Uh, so just like people are engaged, uh, for many, uh, their temporal charge is sometimes simply formality. Real, uh, their real business is how to satisfy their senses. If for satisfying my senses I'll have to pose myself as a religious person, so let me do that. That is their religion. Uh, but that is not religion. Real religion is uh, no sense satisfaction simply to satisfy the Supreme Law. That is real religion. Therefore he says, Bhavan hi Veda tat sarvam. So as uh, somebody, anything, they, they require four legs, just like this platform. It has got four legs. The animal stands on four legs. Anything, it requires four pillars. So uh, to remain uh, steadily on the platform of dharma, uh, these four legs require dharma, artha, kama. If I simply remain engaged in religious principle, and nobody uh, is engaged but to get food, because food also required. So, therefore, not only religious principle, there must be uh, economic development attempt also. Uh, but not one man so. Uh, we should divide our society in such a way that somebody, uh, some group of men is engaged in studying the dharma principle and spreading it. Just like we have taken the principle uh, generally to spread what is meant by real dharma. Uh, that is the business of the Brahman. Uh, and similarly, uh, some group of men should be khatriya uh, for ruling over. Uh, unless there is discipline, ruling, everything will be chaos. Uh, the government must be there. The principle of uh, directors must be there. So dharma, artha, kama. And we must live peacefully. Our senses should not disturb us because we have got senses. They want satisfaction. Uh, so we must give food to them also, uh, senses. Dharma, artha, kaam, and moksha. But ultimate goal is how to get out of this material existence. This is four things. Dharma, artha, kaam, moksha. Uh, and moksha, by the uh, impersonalist, their moksha and real moksha, 
Real moksha, moksha means liberation. Liberation means to get out of this material existence. People do not understand what is moksha, what is economic development, what is religious principle. Uh, <coughs> there is no education. So unless there is sufficient education on this principle, dharma artha kam moksha, you cannot have peaceful life in human society. That is not. That is animal society. Dharma no hina pasubi samana. If there is no principles of life, that is animal society. Unfortunately, at the present moment, the education is simply for sense gratification. That is animalistic education. Therefore, in spite of advancement of so many things, people are not happy. People are not happy. So, here it is said, Chotudhi Bhattase Jena Padui Loko Sukhavahai. Sukhavahai. Sukha means happiness. If you want to increase happiness, everyone wants to become happy, that is the highest principle. Atantik Dukhana. The whole struggle is going on to minimize our miseries and to increase our happiness. That is our attempt. Everyone is working for that. Atantik dukkha nirvit. Dukkha means unhappiness. And atantik means ultimate. So people do not understand that what is that ultimate happiness. Uh, ultimate happiness is there. Now there is no dukkha. Uh, there is no unhappiness. That is ultimate happiness. If you study whatever happiness, we are trying to establish uh, there is unhappiness also. Uh, it is not unmixed. Uh, it is mixed. Uh, there is economic development. That's the modern age. Uh, if, you, if any man wants to become a rich man, he has to first of all accept unhappiness, to work very hard. Then, uh, then he can get some money. Then uh, engaging that money for increasing father money, increasing father money, then one day he may be millionaire. So uh, that millionaire to become, that is also not undisturbed happiness. Uh, how to keep the money, how to invest it. Uh, so here uh, uh, in the material world, as we are engaged, uh, unalloyed, uh, and unhappiness is not possible. But if you actually want unalloyed happiness, then you have to be advanced in spiritual consciousness. Unalloyed. Atantik dukkha nirvita. means ultimate, and dukkha means unhappiness. Atantik dukkha nivitti. Nivitti means finish. People do not see what is that atantik dukkha nirvitti, what is that ultimate uh, disappearance of unhappiness, that they do not know. So many things they do not know. Therefore, uh, it requires education. Education means knowledge, to get knowledge. And uh, the Vedic direction is that if you want really knowledge, then tadvigyanarthamsa gurumeva avigatche. One has to go to the guru or the spiritual master, the gurum eva avigatche. One must go. There is no alternative. Nobody can say that without going to the guru we can become happy. That is not possible according to Vedic principle. Even Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Although he is the Supreme Personality of God, he accepted Guru. Krishna, the Supreme Personality, he accepted Guru. So that is our Vedic principle. Uh, uh, the beginning of Bhagavad Gita, it is said, Evang parampara praptam evang rajar sayavidu. Evang rajarsi. Rajarsi means great saintly kings. Uh, they also accepted. Uh, uh, predecessor, Guru. Imam Vibhasati Yogam Pratmanahamam 
Dumashana Manabi Prahu Manu Vikhaka Vibra. Everything is there. So if we actually want to be happy, then we should not live like animals, without any restriction, without any even in your state. Uh, just to keep uh, proper management of the state, there are so many laws. Even if, as soon as you go to, on the street, you see there is state law immediately. Keep to the right. Uh, discipline must be there. Uh, that is dharma. Discipline. To abide by the state laws, there must be some discipline. Similarly, to <coughs> make yourself advance to spiritual life, you must have. Uh, uh, to observe the discipline. Without discipline, it is not possible. Adu Gurbhasram. Therefore, Rupa Goswami says in his Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu, the discipline means one who observes discipline, he is called desire. Uh, everyone knows it. Uh, disciple means one who observes discipline. If one does not observe discipline, then he is not a disciple. And one who is not a disciple, his life is chaotic. Uh, he cannot be happy. Uh, therefore, Veda says that you must accept uh, a bona fide guru and become disciplined under his instruction. Then uh, you will know the higher system of knowledge, the necessity of life, and thus you become happy. Uh, so here it is said, Yachatur bhi jena padui loko sukhavoy. Without discipline, without proper understanding of the four principles of life, dharma, artha, kam, moksha, nobody can become happy. Therefore, it is said there that you know, I mean, bhamani veda tasarbam janmaṁ dharmaṁ vichyasi yachatur bhi vartase jena padui loko sukhavoy. The next. Satyam. Satyam. Truthfulness. Truthfulness. Shocham. These, these things are uh, all mentioned. How uh, the human society can be peaceful and progressive. These are the qualifications. Uh, not like uh, animal like jumping all day and night. Here in Hawaii you see that children, children and elderly persons also, the whole day and night simply jumping in the sea, someone is sweeping, uh, swimming, somebody is doing something and somebody is sitting. How they are wasting time, but they have taken it. This is civilization. This is civilization. Human life is so important, so many things have to be learned. Neither is the school, college, educational institution, society, nothing of this sort. Just like a dog is also jumping, a man is also jumping. This is by But that is not civilization. Real civilization means uh, these things are to be acquired in real life, personal life. Uh, that, that is civilization. Now uh, these are mentioned one after another. Uh, satyam, satyam, truthfulness, shocham, cleanliness. Now, truthfulness is a, uh, nowadays, is a matter of dream only. There is no truthfulness. Uh, everyone is beginning from the president and down to the ordinary man in the street. Nobody is truthful. Now the president in your country is being questioned so many ways uh, because he has proved himself <coughs> truthful. So this is a forgotten story, truthfulness. Uh, there is brahminical qualification. Uh, all these qualifications are mentioned. It is not possible to acquire all the qualities by one man. That is not possible. Uh, just like we divide. Some, if there is something to be done, we divide the task. Uh, Mr. You, you do this. Uh, you, you do this. You do this. Similarly, 
all these qualities must be divided among the uh, whole population. Therefore, in the Bhagavad Gita, we have got the direction from the Supreme Law. Chatut Banlangamaya system guna karma vibhava. One man cannot be. Uh, suppose a businessman. Uh, a businessman, uh, he cannot become strictly truthful. That is not possible. Uh, a politician, he cannot become actually uh, truthful. Uh, then the whole business will be spoiled. Everyone, suppose you go to a store, the storekeeper says, Oh, you are my dear friend, I will not take any profit from you. Uh, I will give you at cost price. You take it. So you believe. But actually, how it is possible to give a cost price? How you maintain the business establishment? I know that is speaking untrue. Still, I accept. No, he is very truthful. So there are so many things. The first thing is to, therefore, then truthfulness has to be rejected. No. Another class, the Brahman class, he must be truthful. The ideal must be there. Just like in the university educational department, there is law department. It is not that the whole population of the state become lawyers. No. A section of the people may be lawyers. Another section may be uh, other uh, engineer, medical man. So all this qualification must remain there, just like educational system. Here is law class, here is botany class, here is chemist class. Whatever you are uh, prepared to accept, you can accept. Uh, but these qualities must be there. The, uh, not that because it is impossible to become truthful, therefore truthfulness should be rejected altogether. No. Uh, one section must be there. Uh, that, that is the qualification of a Brahman, Sattva, Samadama, Tidika, Arjava. Uh, that, but these qualities must be there in the society, somewhere or other, and they should cooperate. Uh, that is the perfection of society. Well, Shocham, Shocham, cleanliness, cleanliness. Doya, Doya, intolerance of others' unhappiness, Shanti, self-control, if, even if there is cause of anger. Doya. Uh, one must be merciful. Uh, Daya means when a man is suffering, a uh, fellow man, uh, another fellow man must feel for it. That is called Daya. Uh, there are two things, Daya and Seva. Seva means to give service to the superior. And Daya means to give service to the inferior. Both of them are service. Uh, I mean, a man is suffering, he is in helpless condition, just like in a hospital. Uh, those who are patients who are diseased, they go to the hospital, there is also seva. Uh, the nurse is serving, the doctor is serving, but that is not seva, that is called dvaya. Uh, he is not obliged, uh, but out of his compassion he is giving service to the patient, that is called dvaya. And Shiva means superior. Just a spiritual master. Sivaya, that is the Pranipatina, Puripasnina, Sivaya. Because the Vedic injunction is that you must go to a spiritual master. That with Jnana Thamsa Guru Meva Avivachet. Avivachet means must. There is no alternative. If you are actually interested in transcendental knowledge, that with Jnana. Tadvijñāna uh, means transcendental knowledge. Athātu brahma jīgyāsa, and the human life is meant for tadvijñāna, to understand. So tadvijñāna tham sa guru eva abhiyacchi. So there, how to learn from guru, that is also stated. Tadvijdhi, try to learn from him. Tadvijdhi pranipātena. First of all, surrender yourself. You cannot go to any person for learning anything where there is uh, no sense of surrender. Uh, I accept a guru, but in my mind I uh, remain independent. Uh, 
what shall I abide by the orders of Guru? That means there is no surrender. There is no surrender. It is false. It is just to satisfy some some motive. But that will not help. If you have got any duplicity in your mind, then you will never be successful in any field of activities. So the process is tadviddhi panipatena, must be surrendered. Panipat means prakṣṭa rūpīna nipā. And therefore, unless you find somebody where you can fully surrender, don't accept guru. That is cheating. Unless you are fully confident that I am surrendering to this person, actually he is superior to me, he can give proper knowledge. So therefore the process is before accepting a guru, one must hear him at least for one year. And when he is convinced that here is actually a guru who can teach me, then you accept him. Thank you very much. Yeah. 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 Yeah.